There is an apparent snag in plans for a new grand entrance to Lindenwood University. The renovations are underway to improve the looks and safety for students. But as Fox Files investigator Chris Hayes found out, one particular business has declined offers to get out of the way. Big plans are underway for a grand entrance to historic Lindenwood University. These tree plantings have already begun along First Capitol near Tompkins. But there's a private business right in the middle of the project, AutoZone, and it stands out, almost a landmark of sorts to some students. And I always notice it, like it's not part of Lindenwood, but it's kind of in the middle of it. It's kind of weird. It's like part of Lindenwood, like, but it's not in the university. It's declined offers to move, even though now surrounded by Lindenwood property. It's a peninsula, if you will. <laughs> St. Charles Mayor Ron Borgmeyer is familiar with the stalemate. Button heads a little bit. Uh, I know they had an appraisal done. They're 20 million apart. So obviously there's some, there's something going on there. The university declined to have a representative talk on camera, but it's posted a video to YouTube making its case. Together, we're focused on growth in the area and AutoZone can be a major contributor. Lindenwood University thought it had the perfect plan for a mutually beneficial solution. It's here about three blocks from that planned grand entrance. The university bought this land, a former car dealership, with the intent of giving it to AutoZone to move here. This is the old Jim Trenary car dealership, which is 10 times bigger than this location. I understand they offered it to AutoZone, but AutoZone's at a stoplight, and it costs about a million bucks to put a new stoplight in. So they're wrestling over all these alternatives and options that they haven't been able to execute. AutoZone has not responded to our multiple attempts to get a comment, including our two personal visits to the store in question and our three emails and two phone calls to corporate. Yeah, I think it's kind of messy, actually. Both the students we spoke to and the mayor said they see both sides of this argument. The city is very encouraging to AutoZone. They've been a great uh, taxpayer and, and customer in St. Charles for years. Linwood has some very extraordinary ambitions, too. So I'm hoping that they'll be able to resolve it between the two of them. Lindenwood University sent us a statement that said in part, quote, it is committed to the continual improvement of our campus, city, and community. The $100 million expansion plan will continue either way, in conjunction with St. Charles redoing the roads and adding monument markers along First Capitol from I-70 to the university. For the Fox Files, I'm Chris Hayes.